Get Margaret Thatcher cabinet ministers were accused of squabbling over Jaguar's newly released files show how Whitehall mandarins were worried about a minor scandal when big government names tried to wangle themselves a more luxurious ride among Maggie's right hand. Men to successfully steer around the Rover Sony rule were Nigel Lawson, Geoffrey Howe and William Whitelaw. They claimed they needed a chauffeur-driven, taxpayer-funded Jaguar because it befitted their senior rank and provided extra comfort for long journeys. But Andrew Turnbull, the Iron Lady's principal private secretary, wrote to her, warning, the spectacle of ministers. Squabbling over cars is distasteful, Gatti Nigel Lawson was among the cabinet ministers who squabbled over official cars the spectacle. If ministers squabbling over cars is distasteful Andrew Turnbull the ministerial manoeuvres were revealed in confidential papers from 1989, but published for the first time today by the National Archives in Q. They say cabinet ministers were usually allocated a Rover 800 or 827 saloon, made by Austin Rover, the now-defunct Birmingham-based car manufacturer. But specially reinforced Jaguars were given to the Premier, Home Secretary, Foreign Secretary, Defence Secretary and Northern Ireland Secretary, who face the greater threat from terrorists. The files contain a list however, showing Geoffrey Howe, Lord President and Welsh Secretary Peter Walker also had Jaguars while Chancellor Nigel Lawson had a question mark alongside his name. Getty Willie Whitelaw wanted a chauffeur-driven, taxpayer-funded Jaguar Alan Clark, the flamboyant defence minister, had began using his own Jaguar two years earlier, despite being warned by Cabinet Secretary Sir Robert Armstrong that he should be promoting the Austin Montegard Caroline Slowcock, private secretary at number 10, advised the Iron Lady that Mr. Howe had recently switched jobs from foreign secretary to Lord President and wanted to hang on to his Jaguar. She said, he is not strictly entitled to one, but adds, there are precedents for allocating Jaguars on other grounds. Nicholas Edwards, Mr. Walker's predecessor as Welsh secretary, was allowed one because he was ill and had to make Long journeys between Westminster and Cardiff. Mr. Walker had retained the car. Miss Slocog pointed out that William Whitelaw, who was MP for Penrith, Cumbria, before transferring to the Lords, was allowed the grander model when he was Lord President. Looking back at the files, it seems that he was also given a Jaguar on grounds of comfort. The standard Rover was judged to have been a little small for him, particularly on the long run to Cumbria, she said. She asked Mrs. Thatcher, do you agree that the Lord President should have a Jaguar and if so on what grounds, seniority? The Premier wrote on her. Note, what is the price difference? If none, I see no problem. Weeks later, Mr. Turnbull wrote to Mrs. Thatcher, saying Chancellor Nigel Lawson was also seeking a new Jaguar to replace an old one inherited from Bernard Wetherill, Speaker of the House of Commons. He said giving him the Bregg vehicle went beyond the normal eligibility of Jaguars but that she had agreed on the grounds that he as Chancellor was one of the most senior ministers.